Hello, everyone. Welcome to my follow-up for Music Has the Right to Children. Reacted to this on a live stream. Um, it's it's good. It's good. Uh, I largely feel the same way I did at the end of the video. My ratings haven't really changed here. Uh, here are my song ratings. I'm not really going to go track by track. I'll touch on a few highlights. Um, but some of these tracks are just so short, you can't really say anything about them. Uh, as you can see, I feel like it's a very consistent album. Um, I, I, again, forgot to rate The Color of Fire. I don't know why. I should have done that. I apologize. Um, I think it's very consistent. But um, I'll put that down for now. My main thing with it that I couldn't really vibe with was the friction between the ambient synth and the rigid, rigid rough percussion. Um, they just, they graded on each other and they didn't really mesh for me. Um, and because of that, Open the Light is my favorite track here. I love that nice minimal synth sound. It's very nostalgic, like you're watching uh, some kind of like science tape, you know, and then you're going to find, you're going to learn how to put a balloon on a I don't know, two liter bottle of soda and make a volcano and kill your family. I don't know. Um, it's just the album feels like it's trying to cross clinical analyticism with warm emotion. And I like that in principle. And some songs I feel like it, it works. Um, like Pete Standing Alone, I think is a good one. Um, I remember Aquarius being entertaining. Roy G. Biv, I think... Um, had a nice dark tone to it. Uh, there was just certain tracks, and it was mainly the shorter ones, that I felt like didn't really lift their weight. I loved uh, An Eagle in Your Mind. I think that was probably, aside from Open the Light, my favorite track here. Um, because it was able to manage that friction pretty well. Um, and I, I completely understand why people would like this music. Like, I can see it. I can see it. And also, uh, someone in the chat uh, mentioned how this was an album that people would listen to to kind of come down from clubbing. After they had been out clubbing, they put this on to kind of come down because it has, it still has the IDM dancey, well, I suppose you call it dancey, beats uh, mixed with a more ambient synth to kind of bring you down. Um, I haven't really written off Boards of Canada at all just because this album didn't click with me because there's a lot that I like. It's just like it, it, the, the ingredients in the recipe I like. It's just the recipe it baked a cake that I didn't love. It, but I baked a cake that I liked. Let's put it that way. I give it a 3 out of 5, so 6 out of 10. Um, I'm eager to... Someone said I might like the... Uh, was it the Campfire album something? It, Campfire Phase? I forget what... Uh, the name of the album is um, that I might like that era of Boards of Canada better um, and I'm open to listening to like Gio Gotti and I mean they only have like four albums so far right uh, listening to more of them on these live streams um, because I, I do find the music compelling it was just the, the landing didn't really stick for me is, is the main thing uh, but that was my follow up to Music Has the Right to Children uh, it was an interesting album and compelling in ways, but uh, like I said, didn't quite stick the landing for me. And that's all I have to say. So until next time, everybody, thank you for watching and Godspeed. Mm -hmm.